Brothers. Brothers. Welcome to another amazing episode of Season V2. I'm Gabby Amra. And I'm Chico Williams. Brain Brain Chatter's Chatter's latest. latest. See you. Freshmen will be selling candy all week. Chair pre trials will be all week at 3 30 in the gym. And Tuesday is Charter's Got Talent at 7 in the auditorium. The Blue Carpet Awards will be sponsored by SGA and will be this Thursday at 6 30. See you grab bashes this Friday. Have fun. Gamers Club will have a Smash Gaming Tournament this Friday after school. Your books are coming soon to pre order by May 5th for $85. Well, minute trials are going to be next week if you're interested to see Ms. Roberts for more information. Now, here's worldwide news. Welcome back to another week's episode of the Worldwide News. This week, we'll be talking about the best investment America can make. This investment is in worldwide disease prevention. As said by Bill Gates, the biggest danger the world faces is not a nuclear war, but the spread of a virus that wasn't contained quick enough. The Spanish flu virus in 1918 killed 50 million people in total. If the same type of virus was to come about now, in our day and age of traveling and being exposed to other people constantly, those numbers would have drastically increased. Right now, 1% of the U.S. budget is spent on foreign aid. The government currently wants to lower that, which has caused outrage, because if the U.S. isn't there to do it, then who will? Now here's Serena with advisory shoutouts. Thanks, Robbie. This week's advisory shoutout is from... Devin Shelton to Ms. Martin's advisory class. Congratulations. That's all for this week's episode of Worldwide News. See you next week. Hey Panthers, Brianna Saucy for another episode of CS Fan. Softball has districts this week at Betty Straddling Park. Make sure to come out and support. Now here's Patrick for the Panther play. What is up Panthers? Patrick Economo here with this week's Panther play of the week. This week, a big congratulations to the track and field team for their season, and here's some footage. That's all for this week. See you next week for another episode of CSPN, only on CTV2. You guys gonna win? You guys gonna merge? Yeah. Yeah, we're gonna take that right now. There is no option. Oh, I played that. Oh, cool. Hi, I'm Jeremy Garcia, and I'm bringing you your fine art news. Last week, Wednesday, was the Senior One Acts, which is their last chance to perform in front of an audience in the auditorium. If you missed out, we have pictures, so don't worry, and enjoy your week. Te veo la próxima semana. Welcome back, Panthers, to another week of Club Corner. Two trials are this week. Monday, there's a GSA is hosting a self-defense class taught by the CSPD after school at 2.45. NHS is tutoring on Mondays, Tuesdays, and Thursdays. Freshmen are selling candy all week. Tuesday is Charter's Got Talent in the auditorium at 7 p.m. Thursday is SGA Panther Blue Carpet Awards Night. Friday is Grad Bash. For seniors, don't be late to school. Sunday, band is having a car wash. See Ms. Danino for more info. Hi, I'm Amanda Maya. I'm a freshman. I'm in chorus, and my passion is singing. I started singing when I was about four or five, and I just really loved getting out of my head and singing like I was messing around until I realized I was really good at it. Singing for me is like just helping me with my anxiety because I just love performing in front of people and making people smile, and it's nice to know that my voice is doing that. My first time performing was in the Broward Center in front of like over a thousand people. I was completely terrified, but when I got comfortable, I really got out of my head and it was really fun. And now I will perform by a cheer and cheek of you, so enjoy. 
Cause I'm in love with the shape of you Push and pull like a magnet too Although my heart is falling too I'm in love with your body Last night you were in my room And now my bed sheets smell like you Every day discover something brand new I'm in love with the shape of you This past weekend, the middle school thespians performed the play Peter Pan. It was the directorial debut for middle school drama teacher Mr. Melendez, and an amazing finale for all the 8th graders who will be going into high school next year. Congratulations on a great show. Recently, a show was released on Netflix called 13 Reasons Why. The show is about a girl who commits suicide and leaves tapes behind describing the reasons as to why she did it. Those reasons being people who affected her in her life. There's controversy over the show and how it depicts these topics of suicide and rape. And that is what we're going to be discussing with you today. How do you think the show 13 Reasons Why handled suicide? It addressed the situation pretty well because if you just keep trying to not be vocal about it and you keep trying to sweep it underneath the rug, it's going to keep happening and results are going to show the same thing. Um, I thought in some parts they handled it well, just like the fact that they were talking about suicide and that like this happens to people, but I felt like a lot of it was like dramatized for TV. I didn't really think they handled it responsibly because when Hannah Baker went to her guidance counselor and he noticed that she wasn't feeling too confident in herself, uh, they should have recommended her to a professional. If anyone is suicidal, you need to get serious help. While 13 Reasons Why is fiction, it presents similar concerns for advocates working to educate the public. In 2014, suicide was the second leading cause of death for children and young adults ages 10 to 24, according to the Center for Disease Control and Prevention. Teenagers, a key demographic for the book, and ostensibly the series, are at particular risk when it comes to contagion. Um, knowing that it triggers people, it does change my perspective, but not by much, only in the way that people need to be more aware of it. Because in the show, people didn't really care. They brushed it off, and that's how people act today. So I feel that the way that they handled it and showed everything that needed to be showed, people are going to start clicking in their mind, like, okay, if I see these signs, I need to help this person. Because if they come to me and I brush it off, I'm not doing anything. They might just kill themselves, and it's like my fault, per se. People might feel like they need to do the same thing, but you can seek out help and if you ever like need anything or need any help just go seek it out so you think so you think it wasn't too graphic no it was spot on because if you keep trying to blanket anything then you're not getting rid of the problem hey guys if you're in peer counseling one or two and you want to take peer counseling three or four 
you must submit an application to Ms. Brand by 3 o'clock on May 1st. If you have taken the one and two classes with no discipline issues and you are trustworthy and possess leadership skills, please apply. Applications can be picked up in guidance or Ms. Brand and turned in ASAP. All right, hold up, now I need to think. Is that rolling? Yes. Oh. Um, when you're in class, books are great pillow substitutes for sleeping in class. If you don't know the answers to a test, then Google probably knows, so it doesn't matter anyways. So if you wake up and you're a little bit late for school, roll over, there's no point in going anyway. Senior year's stupid. Gym shorts are a lot more comfortable than school shorts. Might as well throw away all your college shirts, because once you get your senior jacket, you don't need them. Well, my uh, backup plan if I didn't get accepted to college was always to become an exotic dancer. It's a dream of mine. Uh, the creative uh, abilities you have to express yourself in that medium is just limitless. Cry. You might want to enroll into high school again because you're not going to be doing much. Well, you're not going to college. L. We are in the midst of a wave, a tidal wave, a tsunami of censorship. And Ron Paul issued a scathing rebuke on the so-called war on fake news by the mainstream media. It's a question. Don't be rude. Can you no, I'm not going to give you a question. I'm not going to give you a can question. You can you stay categorically? You are fake news. I'm Sir, go ahead. Can you stay categorically that nobody, no, this president-elect, that's not go appropriate. Ahead. Okay, so this concept everybody talks about right now with fake news, it's not a new thing. Uh, the kind of villainization of journalism has been happening for some time now because a lot of news outlets decided that um, buying their audience's attention with entertainment was more important than giving the truth. And the truth should always be the goal of journalism, uh, whether it's broadcast or newspaper. Uh, the problem is, is that we can't all agree on what the truth is, and sometimes the audiences prefer to see a reflection of their own feelings. And so the truth they choose to take in overtakes the truth that is verifiable and actually exists. Um, so what's important for you uh, as an individual who's consuming media is for you to know who your source is, where they're getting their information, and whether or not you feel confident that what you're absorbing is the truth. It used to be news, now it's opinions. Oh, glasses, we have three experts on the right, three on the left, let's discuss. Ooh, light bulbs, we have three experts on the right. That's not news, that's opinions. Well, over and over and over, cycle, 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 cycle. What is the long-term effect of too much information? If you're sitting there and you're thinking it's the gospel, what I'm saying to people is, to all of us, I'm not knocking the phone. What I'm saying is we have to understand, we have to at least ask ourselves, around the world, you, here in England, wherever you are. What is it doing to us? Thanks for watching another amazing episode of CTV2. I'm Gabby Amaral. And I'm Scott Williams. We bring, bring in Charter's latest. latest. See, See you. you. Bye, have a nice week. See you next Monday.